Well, I'll try this once again. See, this is for a minute ago, we didn't have any audio. I guess it's working now. Okay, here we are, part two. I want to get rip roaring on this. Make sure I get everything out of the box and, and show it. Another just, just fantastic piece of turtle shell. What a huge turtle that must have been. Look at these beautiful scallops. Just turned to rock. Just fantastic. Look at this. Look at the matrix. Look at the other little scallops and all that have fossilized along with this big one. Just terrific stuff. Just terrific stuff. Just terrific, terrific, absolutely beautiful. I can't believe I got this. Now that all these, all these now are going to be turtle shell, more turtle shell. And when I do, when I start doing my thing, I will do a, a thing on just on turtle shell. Look at this, Mama Luke. What a shell he had. This was the edge of the shell. What a plate. Can you imagine the size of that turtle? Holy crap, this was a land a land turtle, something on the size of or maybe as big or bigger than the Galapagos turtles today. <clears throat> now these are the claw that the turtle has to hang on to the female when they're mating with. I got several of them. This assortment of bones. This is a, a fish vertebrae. This is another beautiful piece of turtle. This is where right where the head the head would come out here, right where all these plates join. And this I can only can imagine from the shape of the bone that this may have been uh, a part of a leg bone to some giant to some uh, 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 giant bird because I don't know of any other bone like this that's in a uh, that's in a mammal I will examine that you can be sure of that mm, couple more teeth Now, everything here, everybody will be getting one of these, I think. All, all the people that are into fossils uh, will be getting parts of these turtle shells. Just remarkable. Absolutely remarkable. What I'm doing is I'm just laying these out for now. A couple of one little thing here, I don't know what it is. I'll have to zoom in on it. I'm putting these, trying to put all these shark teeth, everything that's left in the box out. Let me dump these other shark teeth out here. These are Moroccan, just beautiful. The Moroccan ones you can tell are almost the, the only ones that are that are come in real white. The same type of tooth. Uh, that, that I'll find in in New Jersey or in Maryland where they find in Florida are black they I don't know why they oxidize that way but these the the ones from Morocco these are beautiful teeth too uh, are almost all pure pure white uh oh do you see that one that one just disintegrated in my finger I have to get a rebate <laughs> oh and here's some more shark teeth Oh, these are these are the Makos. These are be beautiful teeth, beautiful teeth. And 
this thing here is the plate of a, a ceratops. This is one of those plates that run down his back uh, uh, to protect him. Uh, this is a dinosaur bone, but it's part of a ceratops and part of uh, the uh, external the, the plate that uh, uh, runs down the middle of their back. Okay. Now let's do a, a quick flyover and then sometime we'll come back and look at these. I mean, these Moroccan teeth are just fantastic. And these other shark's teeth. I always get, shark, get shark's teeth because these aren't perfect ones, but everybody likes shark's teeth. And then you, everybody knows what a trilobite nut I am. And look at this ammonite. Beautiful, beautiful ammonite. So much different than the usual ones that I get. And then, and then on top of that, to get these fish. Holy crap! Once from the this is the bigger one is from the Green River, and then those two big bones here in the back. These are both dinosaur bone, and then all this stuff here is turtle bone. And do I love it? All from the carpus, from the shell of the turtle. And then here comes the clams. Oops. There's a nice shark's tooth over there mixed up with the clams. Look at the serrated, serrated edge of these of these teeth. Let me get let me get my little scraper, my little loop here and show you some of those serrated edges of these teeth. Unbelievable. And then the Moroccan ones. Just beautiful, just absolutely gorgeous teeth. And then here's the Makos. And part of turtle shells. And I'll zoom in on this on the, on the Ammonite. And then, of course, my favorites, the Trilobites. Just, just, just fantastic. And then we'll, we'll get some pictures of this crystal. So did I have a great day or what? And I hope that I uh, that I shown it that you helped your day along too, because this stuff. I mean, I am just so thrilled to death. This is my own personal Christmas present for me, and this is better than uh, ten kookaburras. This, I mean, this is just terrific, terrific stuff. And some of this will be going out as Christmas presents. And some of it will be staying here forever. <laughs> or at least <clears throat> Mark gets, Mark's daughter gets most of this stuff. So he's going to have to build a, a hell of a showcase to, to put. Because uh, I want to keep the collection as much as I can together. But this is uh, just terrific. And I hope, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And I, as I said, I want a, a special shout out to Mason because he's a, he sent me some some really nice uh, he sent me some real nice fossils from Texas and then of course uh, uh, Chris uh, Chris and Jared uh, also sent me some some nice petrified wood and I hope they enjoy it uh, that was that was uh, uh, Jared from Texas and uh, uh, Jared from Saskatoon he's interested in this stuff too so I hope everybody enjoyed it and uh, if anybody has any fossils they want to trade for silver, uh, get a video over to me, and I'd be more than happy to trade because I love fossils, and and I can uh, can always replace the silver. Thanks again for watching, and maybe next time I can do a, a close up of some of these uh, beautiful trilobites. Take care.